He told us to get in our room, but the way he said it gave me chills. He looked so frightened, and that was the first time I saw my dad like that. It was something different for me. I love Modern Warfare and I usually play for hours on end. If you don't know what that is, it's a Call of Duty game. My name is Michaela and a few months ago, I had a really bad experience due to playing Call of Duty. I usually play with my friends Mimi, Yaya, and Maya in hardcore team deathmatch or Warzone. I'm not really that good and possibly the worst of my friends. There was one Saturday where it was raining and storming all day, so we literally played for about 15 hours straight. Late that night, everyone was getting tired but me. Then this guy joined one of our games. His name was Probe Master. This man kept whispering in a mic like some weirdo or something. Then all of us received requests through PSN. I'm the only one that actually accepted it. I stayed on the game while everyone went to sleep. Every match, I'd hear this guy whispering, but he kept camping in the game, so his KD was very low. One game I did horrible. Then this guy sent me a message saying that I'll put up impressive numbers, but my overall ratio was 0 0.20. I know I suck, but this guy would not stop talking about how good I was. Just be polite. I would say thank you. So a few weeks go by, and this guy would constantly jump in my Call of Duty games, and every Friday... He would send me a message saying, I hope you have a good weekend, like some creeper, because I would never respond. Well, until one day, he jumped in the game as my friends and I were in a free-for-all game. After the first game, he played with us in some randoms. He said, good game, guys, especially you, Michaela. All of my friends stopped talking. Then Maya asked me how this guy knows my name, and I said, I don't know, because my username isn't even close to my real name. Then she attempted to ask him, but he wasn't on anymore. Three days later, and this guy still hasn't logged back on. I even sent him a message asking him how he knew my name. No response. I was a little worried. Not for him, but just wondering how he knew my real name. Maybe he guessed it. So again, one day I get home, open up my blinds, relax a little, and I started playing Modern Warfare in my living room. I threw on my hoodie to get more comfortable. Everyone was playing except for Malia. We didn't know where she was. So I'm sitting there waiting for the next game to load and I receive a text that says, Michaela? With a question mark from a number I didn't know. I can tell it was an iPhone because I replied with, yeah, who's this? In the turn blue and the person immediately read it with no response. I looked up at my TV because I heard a camera sound and I noticed a flash. I need to mention that the window was about six or seven feet behind me to the right and that's where it came from. Then I received a text message from the same number. It was a photo of me taken from outside the window. I was stuck. I looked at the reflection on my TV. I could see a man standing on the outside of my window. I turned around and the man started clawing at the screen, trying to get in the living room. I yelled for my dad and he started running downstairs. Before my father got to the room, the man ran away. My father ran outside, but the guy was gone. One of my neighbors got a good look at him and helped with the sketch. I also showed the text messages to the cops. This guy just simply disappeared. I haven't seen him on a game and haven't received text messages anymore. He's never been found. That situation keeps me on my toes. Just be careful. In 2009, when I was 14, I was home alone on a Saturday night. My parents had just left for a party two hours away from our house. 
I decided to hop on my Xbox and play some Modern Warfare with my friend. We got into a lobby and played for a bit. Now, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm really good at shooter games. And when I was playing, I was dominating the enemy team. When the match finished, someone on the other team was just talking to trash, calling me a tryhard and stuff like that. I started talking back because I wanted to stand up for myself. And I'm not just gonna say that my voice is really deep and was also deep when I was 14. A lot of people thought I was a grown man with kids when I spoke on the game chat. This guy thought that too. He started saying that I'm a grown man that lives in my mom's basement. So we kept on going back and forth. The conversation was getting a lot more offensive now. We ended up on the same team, but he still kept talking trash. I tried muting the guy, but I couldn't. For some reason, I don't know why. I could mute others, but not him. When the game finished, I tried backing out, but I couldn't. I noticed that others were able to, including my friends, but not me. I tried playing a different game, but I couldn't. That guy just kept on and on. I kept on telling him that he was annoying and he's acting like a punk. He then said to me, oh, you think I'm annoying, huh? Just wait. I was confused and honestly just gave up at this point. Then this idiot opened up a bag of chips and was eating like four chips at a time, making the noise louder. I was honestly so pissed and started calling him a fat loser and kept on making fat jokes. I went to his Xbox profile to see if I could mute from there. But when I went to his profile, I saw that he had modded account. That most likely explains why I couldn't leave the game. Mute him or play a different game. I told him he was soft for modding. He changed his gamer tag to I hope you die. He just kept on eating his chips too. I tried to turn off my Xbox, but I couldn't. I didn't realize that he had more than just a modded account. I kept on complaining to him while he continued his behavior. It just got to the point where he was furious. He ended up leaving, but the way he left gave me goosebumps. Before he left, he said in a slow, creepy tone, okay, I'm gonna leave now. When I find you, I'm gonna hurt you, Max. I was so afraid I couldn't even talk or move. The guy knew my name. He finally left. I should also add that it was just me and him in the lobby. I think he booted everyone and blocked anyone from joining. I didn't really know what to do because I didn't know if he was being serious or not. But how did he know my name? I turned off my Xbox because it was late and eventually drifted off into sleep. I woke up to the knock at the door. I looked at the clock. It was around two in the morning. I didn't want to answer that door though. The person behind that door started to pound on it. It then sounded like the person was slamming their body on the door. I then heard the voice of a person I was fighting with before. He said something like, Max, I know you can hear me. Open the door. I just want to talk. I was terrified. I called the police and the neighbor said they would be over very quickly. As I was on the phone with my neighbor, the door busted open and there stood a tall, fat man. You can tell he had terrible hygiene. He smelled and looked disgusting. He had long, messy hair, a heavy five o'clock shadow, and a bunch of acne. His clothes were also filthy. He charged at me with a kitchen knife. I ran as fast as I could to my bedroom and locked the door. He tried opening it and he was pounding on the door. He even stuck his knife through the door several times, but then I heard a familiar voice. It was my neighbor shouting at him to drop the knife. My neighbor was pointing a gun at him, but the man ran outside and back through the door. My neighbor stayed with me and the cops until my parents got back. I'm so thankful that my neighbor got there in time. My name is James and I'm 16 years old. One evening I was playing some Black Ops 4 on my PS4. I was having the usual night until I came across this one guy whose online ID was KillerKen663. 
I kept killing him over and over. And as he had a headset on, I can hear him shouting and swearing every time I shot him, which I found pretty funny. He stayed in my lobby for about four games or so, each time getting more angry. I was finding it funnier each time. After about the fourth game of destroying him, he spoke in the lobby before the next match saying that stupid kid keeps killing me. I sat there laughing, but all that changed when the next words he spoke were, I bet you find this real funny, don't you, James? I immediately stopped laughing and my heart sank. My eyes opened wide. I was so shocked to how he knew my name. It's not possible because my online ID is CODGOD122. There's no way he can know my real name. I immediately left the lobby. I sat there at my desk for a few moments, pretty freaked out. Took a deep breath and calmed down a bit. I thought maybe he meant someone else and I was getting it confused with another guy named James in the lobby. Or something. It was just a coincidence. About five minutes passed and I carried on playing and tried to forget about it. In the game I was playing, I noticed in the kill feed it said Killer Ken 663 connected. I was thinking there's no way it's this guy again. I was still pretty weirded out so I left the match I was in and went to join another lobby. After finding another lobby I was waiting for the game to start and once again he popped up. I quickly left and went to look for a new game this time. Before I even searched for the game mode he joined me. This time just me. I sat there and just waited. He got on his mic and said, I'll die in hell, and he's gonna be the one to send me there. I thought this was corny, but I take all threats seriously. I instantly backed out and was scared as hell, thinking to myself, what is wrong with this guy? I blocked him thinking he must have kept joining by going on recent players. That annoyed me. I was annoyed with myself, honestly, as this was the first thing I should have thought of. I decided to stop playing that night and I was frightened by this crazy man threatening me. The next day when I turned on my PlayStation, I received a message. It was him, Killer Ken 663 The message read, see you soon, James. This was three weeks ago. I haven't had any other incidents with this guy since then. I hope it stays that way. Back in 2017 when I lived in Florida, my house had some woods that would extend all the way to another neighborhood. One day I was playing Modern Warfare 2 with some friends and I hear my dad come out of his room telling me and my brother to stay in the room with the doors locked. But me being who I am, I came out of my room. I saw my mom posted outside the master bedroom with her gun and my dad with his open in the front door. He went outside to go check the backyard because he heard something or someone. Then out of nowhere, he comes in running really fast, telling us to get back, and he closes the door behind him. He told us to get in our room, but the way he said it gave me chills. He looked so frightened, and that was the first time I saw my dad like that. It was something different for me. The next day when I asked him if he knew who was there, he told me that he saw a black figure that was at least seven feet tall just run and jump the fence like it was nothing. It didn't really bother me until a few months later. It was the end of seventh grade and I was about to move. We got home late from school one day. So by the time my brother finished his homework, it was 10 p.m. and he went to go walk the dog. I decided to get on Call of Duty. Five minutes later, he comes running into the house screaming, almost crying, with the dog behind him scared to death. He said he saw a dark figure that was abnormally tall looking at him behind my neighbor's house. My mom immediately got in the car and we drove around to see if we saw something, but we didn't see anything. I know it sounds crazy, but I've believed in Slender Man my whole life. Yes, I understand. It was made up. But I did believe in it when all this happened. I just said to myself he was real. I get it. People think he's fake. He was made up. He was a creepy pasta. I know. And people think I'm crazy. I get it. But that was back in seventh grade. Now I'm going to the 11th. 
and that stuff still hunts me to this day. I remember several years ago, I was working night shift in the warehouse one night. I was at work just starting my shift, but they sent me home early because they didn't have any work for me to do. A few hours later, I was home playing Call of Duty Black Ops. My stepfather was away in the living room watching some old Western movie, and suddenly we heard someone pounding on the side door. We went to check it out, and there was a man banging on the door, and he just wouldn't stop, honestly. I couldn't quite get a good look at the man. I went to my room to grab my shotgun and I went back to the door and it was open. I see my stepfather outside yelling at the guy. He told him to get away from the house and it's one in the morning. The guy wouldn't leave. So I stood by the window with the shotgun in my hands. My stepfather came back inside and called the police and told them there was a man on our property and he won't leave. The intruder slowly took off shortly after. The man was chubby and wearing a white tank top, a cowboy hat and blue jeans. He was also drunk from the way he was looking. He was walking sideways. I looked out of my bedroom window and I saw the police car slowly passing the house. Then about 45 minutes later, they came to let us know that they found him. He tried to run from them, but he puked and fell on the ground. The cops cuffed him and put him in the cruiser. The man was charged with intoxication and disturbing the peace. My stepfather requested a restraining order so the man wouldn't be back. About a month later, the man was found dead in his home. Apparently he died of a heart attack. My stepfather said, good riddance.